happy people i'm back with another video and today i have some items that i hauled from young nails they had their i think it was their fourth of july sale that i shopped i don't even remember at this point but they had a really awesome deal on some items that i had been eyeballing for a while so let's hop right on into this haul y'all that's a big box Ooh, okay i'm gonna just take everything out and then show you guys all the goodies that i got well that was a big box for those few items but let's show, let me show you guys what i got the first item i picked up is actually some new cover acrylics from young nails i was super excited that they had these on sale so they had cover rosebud i had been eyeballing this color for quite some time and they had it on sale for the in in the 85 gram container which is super huge so i was super excited to have this so let's pop this open and take a look okay Ooh, that's a pretty color. Okay, I'm noticing that the thing is it filled to the brim. So maybe I'll maybe with their 85 gram containers in general, they don't fill them all the way to the top. Cause I feel like when I got my Black Friday box, I was shocked that the powder wasn't filled to the top. But I think it's just their 85 gram containers. Maybe they don't do that. But this is a really pretty nude. Yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this um, off camera, and then I'll come back towards the end of the video to show you guys what this color looks like. But I have cover rosebud now in my collection which i'm super excited about i think eventually i want to just go ahead and get all of the cover colors um from young nails because i just really enjoy working with their acrylic so i got this and then i got another core white so this is a backup of core white that i'll be having in my collection so i got this i also picked up an exclusive limited edition acrylic that they had this is a glitter acrylic and they came out with this earlier in the year and I was really sad I didn't snag it and so I was really happy to see when they brought it back during this sale and it is called adult daycare and it's this really beautiful kind of um, goldish looking glitter let me pop it open and see here oh wow look at that that is really pretty oh my goodness so they actually had this on sale for five dollars you guys so i was really excited to pick this up but this is an absolutely stunning glitter i'm super excited to swatch this wow that is gorgeous okay so we got that and then i also picked up miss chef tracy's glitter mixes because she's been doing a lot of glitter mixes on their live streams and so i wanted to see what the hype was about you know and they're always really really pretty when she's making them so let's see what they look like Ooh, wow okay i haven't even opened it yet but that looks pretty let's see how do we get this open okay so these are the three glitters so the first one here is called ice bath that's pretty and it's in a half ounce container here i already know this is gonna be gorgeous oh my goodness oh my god Wow, you guys. Do you see this? Oh, this is absolutely stunning. So this is like a, a teal blue with greens and just all type of fine glitters, chunky glitters. That is really, really pretty. I'm excited to swatch that. Next we have here, Clap Smooch. <laughs> That's a weird name, but all right. Oh man, that is pretty too. All right, Miss Shelf Tracy. These are really pretty glitter mixes. I like these a lot. And this bundle, I think they had it on sale. It was like three for $15. That's really pretty. And then the last one here is Jaw Drop. So let's see if this gonna be a jaw dropper, y'all. Oh, wow. This is interesting. This looks like a party in a container. Like it has like different confetti type um, glitter uh, pieces and then fine glitters and small hexagon glitters. That's really stunning too. Holy moly. Yeah, she does a really good job with those glitter mixes. Like these are absolutely stunning. So happy to have these for sure. I also picked up, they had like these gel liner caps on sale. So I picked these up. Um, I'm not really sure what they go to. And this is interesting how they decided to package it. But um, it came with, I got a small one and I got a large one. So I want to see if it might fit over any of my other gel brushes. Let's see. Okay, it fits over top of here. So I guess I'll just like store my brushes like this. I'm not really sure. But um, I think it's gonna make sense to have a cap for my brushes so that they're just not like sitting out in the open. So I'm just gonna actually leave this on my um, gel brush here. And then let's see, um, I don't really have too many other smaller brushes. 
only other small brushes I have are my liner brushes. I think this would be too big for that. Yeah, that's too big for that. But it does fit my poly gel brush, so that's nice. So that's what I'll be using that for. So I got the small one and the large one here. So this was the real reason for my haul, you guys. I picked up their Mission Control paint kit. And I was really excited to get this in my collection because I actually have done a lot of nail art on my channel. I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures of some designs I've done. I've done um, Alice in Wonderland nails. I've done some tattoo nails. I've done um, some Black History Month nails. And every time I need to do some nice detailed nail art, I always get, I always reach for my Young Nails Mission Control paints. And so I'm really excited to have these. Um, and the other reason I got it is because y'all, my little micro detailer brush is struggling, okay? Now let me go ahead and pop these open. Ooh, yeah, okay. So I was excited. This kit was actually 40% off. That's the lowest I've ever seen it go. Um, they normally only do 30% off sales. And when I saw it was 40% off, I didn't even think twice I had to snag it. So I was excited about this kit because it has all of the basic colors that you'll need for nail art, okay? And so it has Overdrive, which is a black. It has Mega Jam, which is like this um, kind of um, fuchsia pink looking color. Solar, which is a nice yellow. Clash, which is a light green. Giant, which is a dark green. Power, which is red. It has Fizz, which is white, okay. It also has Sonic, which is like kind of like a teal blue, I guess. T Taser, which is like an orangey red. It has Molten, which is like this, um, I don't know, pinkish kind of color and then Orbit, which is like a beautiful purple. So it has all of the primary colors that I need for any type of nail art that you know my heart desires. So it also comes with Clutch, which is a brown. I was wondering where my last one was. It rolled over to the side there. So yeah, I am gonna do a dedicated review on all of these uh, gel pots. I'll show you all how they look in action. And then the other thing I really absolutely needed was another micro detailer brush you guys that's another reason why i purchased this i am absolutely in love with this micro detailer brush i use it for any fine nail art that i need to do look how fine that tip is this is absolutely amazing for nail art i've used my other one so this is my old micro detailer brush now y'all don't laugh at me okay this brush has been used and abused y'all see my micro detailer brush my poor little brush y'all this brush did not see it coming okay <laughs> Look at it, the hairs are all going every which way. It looks like it just got hit with a bolt of electricity. So you can tell that this brush has been used and abused. Yeah, it was about that time for me to go ahead and upgrade and get a new one. But yeah, I'm definitely happy to have a new one in my collection. Okay, so yeah, as I was putting my things away, I noticed that I forgot to mention one more Mission Control paint that I bought. So this was separate from the kit that I got and it was called Life blood okay and this looks like a deep kind of vampy red color so yeah i am gonna like i said do a dedicated video on all of these gel paints all right you guys so first i'm gonna go in and swatch my cover rosebud i'm so excited to swatch this color it's really really beautiful so i do have my young nails monomer already ready to go and my swatch stick so i'm gonna go ahead and pick up a small bead here oh this is pretty Okay, happy people, I just wanted to show you all how I pick up my bead. I do tap off a little bit of monomer on the side of my dappin' dish, bounce it three times into the acrylic, and once I get my bead um, on the brush, I do let it set for like two, uh, three to five seconds, um, and then I start working the back of the bead first, and then um, uh, swiping down on the front. I always leave this footage in my hauls, or either make swatch, separate swatch videos, because this is my practice for acrylic application. So if anybody is wanting to practice more with their acrylic, whenever they go to swatch their acrylic powders, you can swatch it on top of the swatch stick to get further practice with acrylic application. These cover colors are interesting to work with. They're actually a little bit different than the, um, the, the speed. Um, I, I do see now that I do see with the cover colors you have a lot more time to like work with it, which is kind of nice. But yeah, this is a really pretty nude color. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. It definitely sets up differently, but I'm not mad at it at all. I like it. Okay, so that's cover rosebud. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch adult daycare. I absolutely love the name of this acrylic as well as how freaking stunning it is. This glitter seems a little bit drier to work with, which is kind of interesting. Or maybe I just didn't have enough monomer. 
Yeah, it's interesting. It doesn't flow as easily as the other acrylics that I'm used to from Young Nails. But it's still really beautiful. It still applies nicely. I mean, you can still move the glitter where you want it to be, but it's just, it kind of just sits right there, you know, which is different than what I'm used to from Young Nails. But still a very stunning and gorgeous color. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, it's a little bit of a drier acrylic, which is interesting. But working with it with like a wet brush makes it easy, makes it easier to move the, the glitters around. Beautiful. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Speed Clear and then swatch all of the Tracy glitters. So the first one I'm gonna be swatching is the Ice Bath. Ooh, I love this one. This is probably my favorite one. Absolutely stunning. And so Young Nails, you know, they actually teach when you are picking up or working with um, raw glitters to tap three times into your acrylic and then tap three times into the glitter, right? And then after you tap the three times when you're placing it, you actually just roll the product onto the nail and then you can start to move around that glitter and kind of place the glitters where you want them to be. And I found that that's been really helpful for me when working with loose glitters because I'm not really a big fan of loose glitters. Well, I didn't used to be a big fan of loose glitters because they were always hard for me to work with, but now that I know how to work with them, I actually quite enjoy them a lot. So yeah, that's how this color is looking so far. This glitter is just stunning, wow. This is a quick glimpse of the uh, colors and what they look like. So this here is cover Rosebud. It's a really beautiful like soft nude color. I'm curious about what it would look like on the skin tone. Looks like it's gonna be a really nice nude to work with. So I'm excited to have this. This is also uh, what Core White looks like. Um, I did previously haul this and so um, this is what it looks like um, swatched as well. That's top coat and that's what it looked like if it was matte. I also have Adult Daycare, which is an absolutely stunning glitter acrylic. And it's, it, the base color is kind of like a deep burnt orange with a lot of hollow glitters. And this is what it would look like if it was top coated. Really, really beautiful. Next color is Ice Bath. And this just is just a lovely name for it. So this is what it would look like if the glitters were matte. I did cure, I did cure encapsulate this. So this is what the colors would look like if they were matte. And then this is what they would look like if they were top coated. How stunning is this glitter? This is probably my favorite glitter that I got. Like, holy smokes, it's beautiful. Next one I got here is Clap Smooch. Um, and that's what this looks like. It's a really pretty kind of pinky, purpley, fuchsia pinky kind of glitter. That's what it would look like if it's top coated. This is also really stunning as well. And then the last one here is Jaw Drop, which is just this fun kind of party um, party in a jar kind of glitter. Um, so yeah, it's like a nice purple and it has like mylar, it has confetti, it has like fine glitters. This is a really beautiful color as well. So that's what it would look like top coated. Very happy with all the acrylics and then also the glitters that I got during this haul. So yeah, y'all, this is everything that I got in my most recent Young Nails haul. I absolutely love Young Nails products. They are very high quality and you just, you really get what you pay for with this company. And so yeah, I'm happy to have more of their cover colors and the entire line of their mission control paints because I absolutely love using them for detailed work and I'm super excited to play around with these shelf glitters. If y'all are curious about how I got these beautiful cute nails, I'm going to leave a full tutorial of how I got this set down in the description box below. So if y'all want to check it out, you can. So yeah, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, Leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!